And our first guest today is one of many local brewers that you can enjoy this weekend at the San Antonio Beer Festival. Beer Festival, that's right. Joining us is Amy Cartwright, founder and president of Independence Brewing. Okay. Welcome. So anybody who Thank has you. missed it before, how many Cheers. beers will Cheers. be at this festival? Well, we will have four of 320 beers available uh, at the festival this Saturday. It's going to be at Crockett Park. Okay, and are these all just small independent brewers like yourself? You know, there's a variety of sizes, all shapes and sizes really, but there's a, definitely a good showing of breweries from San Antonio, the Rio Grande Valley, the South, regional breweries, maybe some even some larger uh, imports. So they have just breweries from all over the place. <laughs> I was just looking at the armadillo hole. Oh. That's just so great. Okay, um, so how did you start, when, it, when and how did you start brewing? So I started uh, Independence Brewing back in October of 2004. So we just celebrated our 19th anniversary. I was just on a mission Cheers. to make, thank you, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Uh, just wanted to bring like a diverse quality beer to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like to say for the thinkers and drinkers of Texas, and uh, that's, that's us. <laughs> Indeed. That's us. All right, one you brought finger, a couple of them here finger. right now. This is yes. the Native Texan, and pour that up so we can take a look at it. So, yeah. how would you describe this beer? So, Native Texan is a traditional German style lager, it's a mm -hmm. Pilsner beer. So, the whole intention of, behind it is to have, you know, lighter malt base, just a little touch of German noble hops, uh, and it's crisp and delicious, just refreshing light beer. Now, you have two different glasses there. Are there yes. different glasses for different beers? Like there's... There are actually. This is a traditional Pilsner style glass. Okay. And this is a glass that's designed more for IPAs. The reason why they're different glassware yeah. is it basically is going to bring out uh, the aromas differently so that, you know, we want to smell just as much as taste the beer and uh, that's the purpose behind so it. So does each one look differently when you pour it? Uh, you know, I'm going to pour some so you can see it. Okay, so that is what you would expect, like a good European German lager. Yes. Mm -hmm. The color. And we okay. want that all that carbonation just to sit there at the top. Right there at the top. Okay, Beautiful. so that's the, the age-old question. Do you pour it down the side or down the middle? You know, I think with a Pilsner or certain kind of lagers, I just, I'm looking more for that, you know, the Germans like to say the three-finger rule. You know, you want that, that head to remain on top. Um, so you can just continue to get the aromatics and bubbles. I Release that was some how of the flavor. You pour in the glass. Three <laughs> different, different episodes. Different, so. Yeah, different, different episode. Okay. <laughs> and then you have an IPA as well. Yes. Um, so that's our stash IPA, and mm -hmm. then over here I have Twine Time, which is a hazy style IPA. So okay. what is that? Um, basically, it is uh, allowed. It's not filtered, and we actually use a little bit of flaked oats. Use a different yeast strain and. Basically, they're trying to extract different flavors and aromatics from their hops. Okay. Okay. And speaking of hops, so you can see the difference here. Of like, this is not clear right. versus very clear. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this mm -hmm. is one of the things beer is made out of. Yeah. So that's a representation of some hop cones. So hops are, are are ingredients, core ingredients for brewing, and they bring flavor and aroma to different beer traditions. So these are these little cones we want to harvest and uh, get the essential oils out of the cones. And basically we use those and to bring out different characteristics. Okay. And then you've got you that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, these are just different malted barleys. So basically the barley is ta taken and kilned and the temperature then at which it's toasted or roasted will bring on different colors and different flavors. And those are what we use at the first st stage of the brewing process. And so, What's a good beer for different types of beer drinkers? I tend to, when people come visit, they, that's the first question we ask. What, do you, what have you liked before? Mm -hmm. um, so you, some people gravitate towards lighter styles, like the German style lager here. Mm -hmm. They just want something crisp and refreshing and light. But you know, you'd be surprised a lot of people gravitate towards maltier styles. So you have our amber ale, stouts, porters. They just like that roasty, more chocolatey notes. Um, IPA drinkers, we just love hops so much. They're like candy to us, you know. So you're speaking of candy, but you know, you have floral hops, you have grapefruity hops, you have juicy hops. And that's where kind of your creativity, like a chef creating a great meal, and you blend all these different things together. Yes, it's okay. a it's a it's a lifelong project to, to continue finding interesting ingredients. And real quickly, so much more there besides the beer, there will be... Oh, there's gonna be yeah. so much fun. There's live music, there's something for everyone. 320 beers mm -hmm. to sample from. You could spend days having beer and, and fun. We've got a discount okay. as well, right? Yeah, that's right. That's 
We yeah. do. $5, Five off dollars off each <laughs> ticket with the code <laughs> SA Live. Yes. All right. And there it's will going be on. food too, right? Oh, yeah. There'll All be food, food, beers, live music, and good vibes. Okay. Crockett Park this Saturday. Check it out there. And uh, once again, cheers. 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 Thank you all. Don't forget. Native Texan, Independence Brewing Company. More information, Independence Brewing at San Antonio Beer Festival. Head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code. I was reading your lines. You could have a sip of beer. That's right. Yes. I did. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.